Hello everyone, and welcome back to BioScholar. Today, we're diving deep into the world of connective tissues. These tissues are like the unsung heroes of our bodies, providing support, structure, and much more. So, let's explore connective tissues together. First, let's break down the different types of connective tissues. We have connective tissue proper, which includes both loose connective tissue and dense connective tissue. Loose connective tissue contains collagen and elastin fibers, providing support and elasticity. Adipose tissue, a type of loose connective tissue, is primarily composed of fat cells and serves as an energy reservoir and insulation. Dense connective tissue, on the other hand, is densely packed with collagen fibers and can be further categorized into regular and irregular dense connective tissue. Tendons, which connect muscles to bones, allowing movement and transmitting muscle-generated force. And ligaments, which connect bones to other bones, on the other hand, stabilize joints and prevent excessive movement by connecting bones to other bones, fall under this category. Next, we have specialized connective tissues, which include cartilage, bone and blood. Cartilage is a firm, flexible tissue found in various parts of the body, providing support and reducing friction in joints. Bone tissue is hard and rigid, offering structural support and protecting vital organs. Blood, our fluid connective tissue, plays a crucial role in transporting oxygen, nutrients, hormones, and waste products throughout our bodies. Now, let's take a closer look at what makes up connective tissues. Connective tissues contain various cell types, including fibroblasts, which produce the extracellular matrix, adipocytes, responsible for fat storage, and chondrocytes and osteocytes, found in cartilage and bone, respectively. The extracellular matrix, or ECM, is a complex network of proteins and carbohydrates surrounding cells, consisting of protein fibers like collagen, elastic, and reticular fibers, as well as a gel-like ground substance composed of proteoglycans and glycoproteins. Connective tissues serve several vital functions in our bodies. They provide structural support to organs, bones, and muscles, ensuring our bodies maintain their shape and integrity. Connective tissues also offer protection, such as bones safeguarding vital organs like the brain and spinal cord. They facilitate connection by forming tendons and ligaments, allowing for movement and joint stability. Additionally, connective tissues have a role in storage, with adipose tissue storing energy and bones storing minerals like calcium and phosphorus. Blood, as a specialized connective tissue, is responsible for transporting vital substances throughout the body. Lastly, connective tissues house immune cells, contributing to our body's immunity against infections and diseases. And there you have it, the intricate world of connective tissues unraveled. These tissues play a fundamental role in maintaining our body's structure, function, and overall well-being. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, and also press the bell icon for more videos about science and biology.